All right, what's up, peoples? I got some for you. Check it out. We have officially moved into the uh, the full circle dome build. Uh, we're also going to build over there today. But uh, yeah, I went ahead and punched all this stuff out with the pickaxe. And uh, without this uh, without this power diamond anvil, uh, yeah, this would have been wouldn't have been possible because I had to repair that a few times. If you guys are wondering how I'm flying around, I'm using that jetpack. Finally, we have our charger. Went ahead and upgraded our alloy smelter and our wired charger. Uh, off camera, I got the cool little doohickeys. I haven't done the sag mill yet because I don't have need for the sag mill right now. But yeah, these are good to go, and this takes a lot of power. And our system can't handle it, so as you can see, it's only at like 21% up here. Uh, but actually, I'd like to go into some quests to uh, complete these. Okay, we got another alloy smelter. That's neat. And then forge Lexington. Okay, or Lex Lexicon. Whoops. All right, we got a milk cow, we get a water candle. That's a interesting combination. I guess we got a seared stone cow as well. Auto sifter, okay, we don't have really any need for those. But as you guys can see in my inventory, I've got a bunch of Ender IO stuff. Because I upgraded the alloy smelter, we were able to get these, uh, these energy conduits and these are made with the vibrant alloy, but because our our Enderman farm is so awesome, we have a bunch of Ender pearls now. We could do that, so I'm getting very excited, and uh, yeah, I'm 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 just very excited. We're losing power. What are we losing power on? Um, like these are full. I think we've hit our transfer limit. Um, which is okay. I mean, we, we have a, a new system for that. I, I threw an ender pearl. Gosh, dang it. I'm so glad I did that now and not later. Um, I was making positive power before. What the crap? Oh, it's an endermite. I needed one of you a while ago. You freaking guy. I, I, I installed an endermite up at the enderman farm so that way I could just sit AFK and they'd walk onto some diamond spikes. And I probably threw like two stacks of ender pearls, 64, so like 128 before he freaking spawned in. And the freaking guy finally spawns in and like punches me around, won't get into the minecart. It was it was just chaos. Um, yeah, but that's not, I don't understand why we're getting, what is drawing power? So that draws power, what is drawing so much power? I haven't set anything else up. The only thing I did set up was, I wonder if I just remove this. Is this losing power? Nope. That is. Um, hmm. I wonder if this thing is kind of screwy. Okay, the jetpack is cool, but with, paired with the slime boots, it's like freaking annoying. Uh, so I just need it for that. Are we losing power anymore? Because I need to charge up some power. Yeah. So that was being kind of screwy. I guess it was looping and losing power. But we're going to put the builder over here today, guys. So that'll be pretty neato. So let's see here. Uh, at Flux Networks. Perfect. We're going to make up another one of these. We're going to make up another one of these. Okay. Yeah. I've got, I got. I made quite a few of those off camera. But now we can put that on the builder. So let's grab our builder buddy. And we're not going to make this room over here very big. Uh, oh, we need a trash can as well, which is over here. Yeah, trying to navigate, but you can really get moving when you hit that power thing, which is pretty neat. It's pretty neato. Okay. So I'm going to put that there. Put that on turtle power. Uh, we are going to only allow... 500 RF per tick to be sucked out of here. So that way our system is okay. Um, let's see, we definitely, let's see, let's get to top dome. Okay, we only want this to be about maybe 20 by 20 and then come up by about 10. We preview that. How does that go? Oh, the offset. Whoops. I don't know. Offset should be fine. If I break this block, is it blue? 
Nope. Um. Oh, that was. Okay. So that's about the size of it. Okay, so we need it to be a little bit further away. That actually like scared the crap out of me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so let's punch a, a hole this way. I'd like it to be a little bit bigger than that. Um, but I want there to be a decent sized hallway in between, if that makes any sense. Okay. So let's just go underneath. Okay, so that's where it's going now. If we go down here, we should be okay to, to increase the size. So let's go up to like 30. And then here we can go up to 20. And then here we can go up to 30. We need to go 31 actually. We need to have an odd number. Okay. It's gonna get real dark. Okay, so let's have it clear this out for now. And then, I mean, with our pickaxe, we can always just come over here really quick and do that. So let's go ahead, break these blocks. Break that one, throw the trash boy up here. There we go. So that should only be doing, yep, 500 RF for tick. So it's gonna use up all the power it can. Cool thing is it's not going to cripple us so we can do other things while that gets built and as you can see from the mini map over here check it out that's getting built pretty good pretty good and as we look we're still getting power put into the system we can actually up this by a few to make it faster i'm gonna go around we can do like 700 maybe so let's bump this up to 700 rf per tick Okay. So cool. So that's how big this room is going to be. And this is where we're going to put all of our uh, power. For this episode, uh, we're going to be relying on more magmatic generators. Unfortunately, I would like to do something else. Uh, but as for right now, that's like the best bang for our buck. We're going to throw a mega torch over there as well. So don't get any bad bad boys spawning in. I'm just going to go right underneath. And that should not affect our mob farm over here. Let's go have a look. Ooh, there is a mob in here, though. Does he want to duel? Do you want to duel, mob? Uh, oh, that's not the right button. Is it C that's missing? Yeah. I don't see him. Not scanning. Oh, there we go. Why are we stopping? Oh, it's hollow. We need to make this solid. Okay. There we go. That's clear. Okay, so I'm gonna let this clear out and I'll be back and we'll, we'll have some fun with it. So at 700 RF per tick, this is what you get. This is how fast it is. And this is perfectly fine for me. I don't need to go any more than that. But I will end up bringing it down one more block so it can clear out all of this stuff. Uh, but it's almost done here and I just wanted to show you guys the final result. I've been just watching this the whole time. I kind of snuck up here. Uh, it is it is really cool. There was a creeper over there, by the way, that I had to kill. And I was really, I was really uh, hoping he wasn't gonna explode because I would have been like really sad. Um, okay, so yeah, that, this is done. Let's go ahead and do minus one. And start that. So it should be, yeah, super fast. And I don't think it'll touch all of that, so that's good. It won't, it won't destroy it. That was super quick, but we're almost done here. We're done. Cool. So this is all good to go. Look at that. We don't have to. We don't have anything to clean up other than that. And now it's all on the same level. Mmm. Freaking love it. I love the builder. I am. I love it when you when I use it right. So we're gonna go ahead and punch a hole out over here, mining all of this stuff like so. And we're gonna make it look really good. 
So I can't, we can't really get this specific with the builder. Or I don't have the time to. I mean, it would just be faster if I just mined it all up. So that's what I'm doing. But it's cool. It's very cool. It's really neato. Okay. Oop, I fell. Whoa, I'm up. I'm bouncing. See, I I think I need to get rid of either the slime boots or the jetpack. And I think I'm going to get rid of the jetpack because the slime boots are very helpful. Like, I can't really show you guys. But you get moving with the slime boots. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some torches in there. And then I'm going to get a game plan going. And I will be back in a little bit. All right, the beepos. So I've got all of the necessary materials we have to start um, building this thing up. Uh, we're going to go, because we only have 21. We're trying to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to need to light that back up. Okay, so we're going to have this kind of ring going on here. So this is all I was able to conjure up with all of our resources because we're, we're running really low on gold right now, guys, being, just being honest. Um, and that is probably one of the main focuses in the next few episodes is, you know, getting our resources uh, like dialed in because they're not right now. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to run all these cables on the back here. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to dig this kind of channel out. And each one of these is going to basically have their own. Our own little separate lava thingamabobber. And this will be our new power spot. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down two blocks each one. And then we're going to run, we're going to put these down there like this. And then we're going to put this crucible up here just like this. And then we're going to put this item conduit here like so. And then we're going to disable the item conduits on the back here like so. And then we're going to switch these ones to insert. We're going to remove the extract. Lots of configuring, right? So we're going to work on these two. And then that's the crucible. And so then we can have the lava being pumped into it like this. So if we go here to fluid, extract on, no insert, extract on, no insert. And so it will pull out and put them into there. And then all we need to do is set up a cobblestone generator. I'm going to put the two cobblestone generators. I'm going to put a diamond tier one here and a diamond tier one here. And then we will run the all the other cables from it. So like this. And then we can take the power. We need to delete this one. Or not delete it. Remove it. And that will put, as you can see, we have three. We have uh, fluid, power, and items all running within one block. And so we're going to link all of these up together, and we're going to run our power off of this, and it's going to be a great time. And that is uh, needing to be lit. It's real lit now. <laughs> all right, people, I actually went ahead and made up the, uh, the max tier cobblestone generators. Uh, this one produces one cobblestone every tick. So this is going to be... And I also took off the jetpack because I was having... I was getting really frustrated flying around all the time. But these produce one cobblestone per tick. So we're going to see about how fast these things actually are. So let's grab our item conduit. What are we going to extract? And I don't think... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I don't think any of these are set... Oh, have a cake. It's just freaking durability gone. Okay, so item conduit needs to be set on insert. And so this is getting power, or this is getting items, which is good. Oops. Wait, this needs to be set on insert, not extract. There we go. So now cobblestone should be flowing at each of these. Yep, these are all producing lava. These are all getting filled up with lava. Very cool. As you can see, there's lava in there. Cool. And then we may need to upgrade our lava production in the future, uh, but our power will be linked. And we'll come around, and then we'll connect there. Let's go ahead and place a torch over here. So I'm going to finish up the other sides, guys, and I'll be back once we uh, link it up to our system over there. 
All right, so these are all pulling out now. It's uh, These are all full. Uh, these ones are starting to generate power. We have cables on the back of them. So all we need to have now is a uh, it, an interface so we can go ahead and add power to our network. Let's go ahead and make up one of these bad boys. Let's pull up the flux networks. Raw here and for adding energy, bam. So we do probably need more more of those. I took the jetpack off and I actually threw it onto the uh, onto that what's it called uh, that armor stand, but it uses the jetpack if you put it on there. So it would just be dumping all the power that we worked so hard. No transfer limit, perfect. And did that work? That should be putting in. It might not do it because our capacitors, our capacitor bank isn't big enough. So let's have a look. Yeah, that's full. Um, what do we do to pull power? Okay. I don't know. Uh, I also I want to let you guys know that under here we're gonna have like a big glass floor kind of. Uh, this will come out a few blocks and it'll be glass, and we're gonna put our processing under the ground, and right here this is where we're gonna be moving our. Um, our power bank. So it's going to come here. It's going to be a three by three or maybe a four by four. It's going to go all the way up and uh, on the edges here. So say if this will be, sorry, not this. Actually, we'll make it a five by five. So one, two, three here, one, two, three here. And so these blocks here that aren't being used in between, these will all be power. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, not these. So all of these blocks here that you see, these will be power banks on each corner going all the way up. And then here, these will be drawers. So that's where all of our storage will be. This is where we're going to put our ME interface. And I think, guys, it's going to look really freaking good. So like the bottom two levels all the way around. So it'll have it'll have drawers here, here, here. These will all be compacting drawers so we can keep all of our metals. And then it'll go all the way up in our, our capacitor banks. Since you can connect these in any configuration, these will uh, this will all be capacitor bank going around, and it's going to go underneath the path here and connect over to each one of these. And these are all going to be max tier vibrant capacitor banks, and it's going to hold so much freaking power until we switch to Draconic Evolution, and that will have the big circle here in the middle, and our base will be on the outside. So that's the end product. Uh, that I'm really looking forward to. And the reason that we have these so big is because the Draconic Reactor will probably come out to around here and then we'll put our processing over here. So I also need to make a, another smaller circle uh, cylinder that uh, I like. And we're going to put it, uh, the builder back over here. We're going to test out how fast this is going to do it. So I'll be right back. All right. So we have the the safe area for us to build in for our storage. So I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to knock all of these down, probably about five or six blocks, and then we'll start with our uh, automation. We're going to be doing that next episode because I am sick and tired of this being our only source of resources. Because, I mean, this thing is good, but we need to amplify this. I want to have at least four of these for gravel, four of these for sand, four of these for dirt, four of these for dust, and we're just going to have a good time. So each one of these will have its own separate little one and then in here we're going to be doing all the storage stuff like that so i'm going to be working off camera i'm going to be working on getting the um the compacting drawers and some of the vibrant uh, capacitor banks so we can start using those I'm probably going to be leaking underneath first and then coming up so i will be doing a lot of that off camera by the next episode i'd like to have uh some capacitor banks up to this level in a certain uh in a few spots so we can start working on storing some power and get some other stuff going but guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all for being a part of the Turtle Club. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out. Bye-bye.